Hey. Ready? Tell us one. Hey. Hi, how's it going? This is Nathan from Proud Fertility, and we have... Kara! <laughs> and what are you, uh, Kara? I am a surrogate mom. Proud surrogate mom. So we decided to come on live late at night, so I don't know if any of you will be um, joining us at the moment. So we decided to just kind of collect all these mean comments we've received over, for me actually over the last year. I kind of usually press delete anyways, and I kept them for a while. So here we are. These are things that we receive in emails or some of our Facebook posts, um, our Instagram. Um, check us out, follow us. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the one that was fairly recent uh, to me personally. You have to be so low to be a surrogate. It's like prostitution and you can and you prey on these women, Nathan. I can't read to... mine. You scrolled up. Aw. Isn't that <laughs> awful? I'm preying on you. Terrible. You're preying on me. Mm. Isn't using a surrogate just for pretentious women and celebrities who don't want to get fat? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I love getting fat, so. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. This one was really bad. Aren't you a selfish one, Nathan? That you think you deserve to be a parent when you're single. Um, yes, I'm very single. <laughs> Get yourself a wife before you can think about being a well, dad. Well, darn, I need a wife. We should all get a wife. <laughs> a or a husband. One. <laughs> sure. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get oh. yours. Oh. How much are they paying you? Yeah, how much are they paying you? <laughs> you must be getting rich. Rich! Yeah, I know. You need to hook me up with a celebrity family. <laughs> oh my god, exactly. <laughs> Millions! Millions. No, just You're just rolling around in dough. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, you have no business running a surrogacy agency. Oh, this one really actually hurt me a lot. So, you have no business running a surrogacy agency when you can't even get yourself a baby. It was really hard, hurtful then. But you know what? It's okay. Guess what? I do run a wonderful yes. surrogacy agency. Yes. And I've been helping many people. So, your turn. Ooh. Uh, how can you possibly give up a baby that you've carried for nine months? You're messed up. <laughs> You're messed up, Kara. You know what though I am? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so mean. No, it is terrible. Uh, yeah. But they well, do you know what? Uh, they're so <laughs> messed up. You are selling parts of bodies What's going on inside out? <laughs> what? Whatever that, whatever that is. That was like a few months ago. Like, maybe I copied and pasted out? it wrong. Maybe. That's weird. It is weird. Okay, oh. It's not right. Ooh. It's yours. It's not right when these people can't conceive for a reason. Survival of the fittest, I guess, has gone out the window. <laughs> <laughs> survival, survival of the fittest? So, like, we shouldn't be helping anybody with fertility things? Ugh. Like, come on. Women who are... Oh, this is actually on our Facebook post. It was, like, this wonderful little Facebook post that I created. It takes time. And this person just, like, wrote this huge... Like, just kept reposting and reposting. So, it said, women who are surrogates are, like, bottom feeders. Like, what's, like, even a bottom feeder? The one of those little algae fish... fish? That just eats algae. <laughs> You're such a bottom feeder. Yeah. I have seen you eat pizza today. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one. This could be one. Oh. Uh, I could never be a surrogate. I could hire one. Oh. What? Where, where, uh, where did you get that one? Uh, I don't even remember. The, I get that a lot uh, at, say, um, yeah. when I... Actually, when no, no, it was a trade show. It was a trade show. Yeah. No, I would use one if I needed one, but I could never. Be I can one. never do that. Like I mean, like, like it's so disgusting. I'm just gonna hire somebody instead. It's just ugh, hiring is a very bad word. So be maybe careful. she's one of those pretentious celebrities. <laughs> like Angelina I'll just, Jolie. I'll just hire one. <laughs> Absolutely not acceptable. You should be behind. Okay, this is, this guy's talking to me. It was a guy, I remember. Yeah. You should be behind bars. You are a womb renter, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Womb for rent. Womb for rent. <laughs> she is pregnant right now. <laughs> I did not give her anything. <laughs> okay, here we are. <clears throat> um, oh, wait. actually, this one I've heard a few times um, as part of kind of the, the crunchy mm -hmm. part of the community. Um, women are made to bond with the baby that grows inside her. Any woman who does not bond with the child that is inside her for nine months or longer is mentally ill 
and is not able to enter into a legal contract. The child she has growing in her also suffers for the lack of this connection. It's child abuse to do so. You're such a child abuse. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, you You're so mentally ill. I know. Yeah. Not bonding with I'm already being behind. I'm already behind bars. So <laughs> Might as well just put me in a straight jacket. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Do you... Okay, this is so stupid. I get this all the time. Do you honestly believe that everyone deserves the chance to be a parent? I think that's yeah. pretty awful. Yeah, actually. I can do another one, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, go, beep, beep, adopt. There are some... <laughs> the beep, beep wasn't like... It was actually a swear, an F-bomb. So, beep, go, beep, yeah. beep, adopt. There are so many children out there who need a home, and you do this fancy shit IVF that, <laughs> that fancy something IVF that costs lots of money do you have any humanity inside you yeah he has a lot of humanity uh, I, can, I can tell you that but oh you, you know have a, you have an F-bomb too I do I have an F-bomb <laughs> I do agree you know a- adoption is very important and mm-hmm. um, you know even, there are many even you like, you mm-hmm. were on the adoption I list still for am. a long time it takes a long time to be able to adopt. And, mm-hmm. and I don't think people realize the process that it actually takes. So so while, while we are talking about adoption, it is a good option. And mm-hmm. I've never said anything bad about adoption. It's it's not for everybody. And the reality, like you said, you touched on, yeah. it can take a long time. And adoption is also often very not possible for people yeah. who are like cancer survivors or even if they're single. The reality is birth moms in open adoptions typically do not choose single um, bir- uh, single adoptive parents who are approved. And even international adoption, there's less than one or two countries that are available in the world for singles who want to have kids. Those of us who don't have wives. So. Yes. <laughs> Get yourself a wife. Exactly. Let's go back to the F-bombs. That's your F-bombs. F surrogacy. Very bad idea. Shame on you. <laughs> Need more words to tell you how horrible you am? You am. Yeah. Well, you have bad. The person you have <laughs> clearly much. You're such a bottom feeder. You don't. Even <laughs> you can't even to, read. You don't even have like good grammar. Oh, that guy. Oh. Need more words to tell you how horrible you am. You am. Okay. How um. Horrible you am. Here's this one about you guys, not about me, because I'm already behind bars. Your <laughs> surrogate moms are very emotional beings. That I understand. I can understand that. Before being a surrogate mother, she has experienced the joy of caring humans, so she's not <laughs> attached to the child. But after knowing that feeling, how can she be able, how can they really, right? How can yeah. she be able to give up the child and never contact and forget it be like never happened? <laughs> wow. I don't think that... How can you, you just forget... <laughs> I mean, you've just had so many babies pop out, you just forget. I mean, I've heard of some women forgetting about the pain of childbirth, because... <laughs> so, like, passed out. <laughs> Not They're that t- bad. Yeah, but, yeah, basically, <laughs> to address it, really, um, surrogate moms aren't giving up children. Um, even birth moms who do place their baby up for adoptions, they're placing their baby for adoption. Surrogate moms are having a planned, intentional pregnancy. They're not giving up anything. They are giving It's not mine to begin with. Mm -hmm. It is not even my genetics. But you know what? Coming from me, you're mentally ill. So that's (laughs) what are you talking about? Right. I'm the one that knows, okay? So let's do that. Um, Okay, it was yours. Oh, well. We have two more from each of us. It's, It's a crime, however you see it. Think about the child... Oh, you're going to rent one too. Renting out your womb is disrespectful to the child and to the mother. Isn't the issue already clear? (laughs) Isn't it? (laughs) Clear, crystal clear. Imagine growing up learning that your parents aren't your parents. Dun, dun, dun. You won't be able to trust anyone ever again. (laughs) Where did you get this? This was a response (laughs) to a blog. But it's so funny because... Your parents are your parents. Like, what do you mean? Like, I get it. It's sometimes just reading these ridiculous just blows, ones. It just but... blows my mind because in surrogacy, usually it, it is their parents. And I'm sorry, is it that traumatic if a child's adopted? First of all, I mean, you're mentally ill. <laughs> you know what? Enough with the mentally ill thing. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna, okay, so don't trust any. Don't trust this woman. Don't trust me. And child doesn't trust anyone either. Okay, so. Um, this is my last one. 
This was really. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. I love. I wanted to end with this one. Okay, so with that ado, you are you as in Nathan Chan. You are downright sick and wrong, Mr. Chan. M I S T E R Chan. Mr. You Ooh. are selling babies. How twisted and sick are you in our society? How do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at I night? I sleep very well. Very like, I well. drink a little bit of Crown Royal. He's kidding. I'm mentally ill, so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's you, that's right? me. You're that is pretty to... bad, though. Yeah. Yeah, Just that's enough said. Actually, this one's even worse. Is this your last? This one's off? my last one. This one is probably like the worst one that I read. Um, surrogacy is like abortion. What? So counterproductive. We're trying to make a baby, but we're killing it. Okay, but anyways, um, it's a self-centered mindset where rich people make money and create that perfect child with no defects. Hmm, sound familiar? Concepts from the Nazi party. <laughs> what? <laughs> Adoption is the definition of true love. Surrogacy causes more abortions and murderers. How do you sleep <laughs> at night? <laughs> OMG. OMG. So there you have it. The it has me so speechless. <laughs> it's not, you know, they made me sleep. Anyways. Um, the thing... Really, the thing is, is these are real people's comments. In like, Canada. They're, in Canada. Sometimes, I think one or two of these definitely came from some group that's very conservative in the United States when they see my yeah. post or something, but reality is that they yeah. come from people which I have seen on their Facebook profiles just from, say, like in my local community in Calgary mm -hmm. or in downtown Toronto, even in where you live in the lower mainland yeah. of BC. Yeah, um, and, and it's, they come up to you, say these things, and they do. <laughs> whether we're we're just sharing our love of this field in a trade show, or yeah. um, and honestly, I I've always come from a place of supporting women in birth and in their pregnancies, whether they are a mom or a surrogate or whatever they're doing, and so. I want to just protect all the other surrogates from comments like these because you know what? They are hurtful. We're not in this to make money. We are in this because we want to do this. We want to help families. And I really wish that people, mm -hmm. I wish people would get that. And I, I do feel like society is getting a little more progressive, which is good, but. <sighs> Sometimes. <laughs> It, I do have to say that sometimes when they do post this stuff openly, it actually gets people discussing. And then there's like me where I get these comments and I'll try to hide these comments on our Facebook posts yeah. or I'll just literally delete the email. I'm like, oh, great. Another hate <laughs> naysayer <laughs> kind of hate mail. Um, but at least we at least bring it to light. And, you know, yeah. we can't really change most of the people that say these sorts of things. But I have been in a situation where I can kind of like, you know, even the adoption thing, I've been able to mm. share with people, you know, did you know that people who are single who can't, who can't really adopt? And they kind of forget that, too. So, yeah. Mm. So, well, I hope so. Uh, like and share this video. And for sure, if you have any other mean comments, or we'll keep collecting them. This has only been, like, a few last months. I could have saved a lot more for you. We could have done a lot more. More trade shows to come. <laughs> Bye.